Hickok 45 here, again, being tactical. I've got the TAC Ultra Rock Island Armory. Yes, big pistol, holds lots of bullets. And I think I'll shoot a couple. It's in 10 millimeter too. That, that makes you tactical, that alone, doesn't it? Especially if you smoke some pot with a 10 millimeter. <laughs> well, there's another one sitting back that I keep missing. Let's hit it. Yeah, see what that's like. <laughs> How about this target? Pow, pow, oh yeah. Nice long range accuracy. Oh, not a lot of recoil. I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's hit a two liter with it. Bang. How about a arm of that tree? Yeah. Pretty nice. How about another two liter? <laughs> oh. Tried to hang up on me. It did. There we go. It's empty now. Okay, this is the uh, the Ultra HC. It's got all kinds of names. I'll show you the side what it says. Uh, yeah, M1911A2 FS TAC, and uh, yeah, it holds 16 rounds in the magazine. I thought they sent me the wrong mag or it had the wrong mag with it. it says 40 S and W on it, uh, but I don't know, maybe use the same magazine as their 40 caliber. Uh, you know, firearms, I don't know, but because it, it seems to do okay right, with the 10, unless it is wrong, and that's why it hung up. I think it did that one other time. It just didn't go fully into battery. Uh, I don't know if the ammo it needs hotter ammo. We're going to shoot some hotter ammo here just to see because it is a heavy gun, <laughs> and uh, wow, you should be able to shoot anything in this uh, that won't blow it up because it's uh, 51.7 ounces. That's heavy for you folks in Kentucky. That's a heavy pistol, okay? 51 ounces. Not many handguns will you pick up that are that heavy. Uh, so it's a big boy, big monster. It really is, and it feels like it, all right? So, and in 10 millimeter, it might be just what you want because you should be able to shoot just about anything and not feel excessive recoil. So I'll give you some input today in that as we uh, uh, load up I'll load some trophy bonded okay these are warmer and uh, see how it feels with them see if we can blow something up see if it'll function with these okay so, now we have a few rifles so I got some trophy bonded let's see how it does with those and then we'll let you know a little bit more about the pistol okay I should feel a little difference here uh, let's see if the cowboy feels any difference yeah, I can feel a little difference. I'm sure he did too. Let's smoke a little pot with this one. Boom, smoked it pretty well. <laughs> Let's see if the gong can feel any difference. Gets there pretty fast. You notice that? Yeah, I think I'm hitting it. Let's try again. Okay, well that one did. I thought the first two did. They might not have. Let me try the buffalo. <laughs> if I shoot out enough, maybe I'll just land one on it. All right, let's roll a plate, see if it'll roll those things. Boy, it swings those babies, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, didn't hang up at much uh, warmer ammo, maybe. Uh, it's good. The range ammo is not quite as hot uh, as, as this is. I've even, I think I have some, uh, this is, uh, uh, well, it's trophy bonded too. Some newer trophy bonded. I got some HST, we could try that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll be loading, I'll put some more trophy bonded in here. Um, the mag holds uh, 16, it says. I, I, I think it's hard to get more than 15 in it, but it's supposed to hold 16. And so, you know, in fact, the part of the name of the gun is HC. I think that stands for high capacity. We don't like to use that kind of terminology. It's more standard capacity for a gun like this with a, a grip like that. 
So yeah, it's a heavy gun. Yeah, I would classify it as a range gun unless you've got a really nice holster and <laughs> maybe a chest holster uh, would, would do well. And get that weight up on your shoulders and uh, maybe in bear country or something. You like a big gun like this, you love a 1911 with that single action trigger, uh, might be just what you need. But that's heavy and uh, it does have the full length guide rod which I don't like, okay. And you, you need a little paper clip and you know take it down. It's a little different uh, process for that. But uh, some people like the full length guide rod. Uh, I ain't one of them at all on any 1911. But uh, so much for that. And then uh, you got your Picatinny rail. And of course, what really makes it a light pistol is uh, the skeletonized hammer and trigger. Otherwise, it'd be heavy. Yeah, it really would. You probably would not enjoy carrying it in your pocket if it weren't for that was that funny that hilarious yeah really but it does have the skeletonized uh, hammer and trigger and it's, it's a nice touch and b safety thumb safety and you notice that g10 grips uh you know uh, the g10 grips from all my research that's what they are on all of these man these are not the the grippy ones like you see on a lot of firearms i typically really like the g10 uh, grips, but these are pretty smooth, I uh, have to say. But the grip is so large, you know, you do get a pretty good <laughs> handle on it, no doubt. At least I do. Now, some of you would not. I'll tell you, this thing feels a little bit like that double 1911 we did, if you remember that, several years back. Uh, it, it does. <laughs> has that feel like you got your hand around two 1911s. Uh, just, just very large. I meant to bring out my Glock 20, but I, I'm glad I didn't, really, in a way, because you know how you am. I end up uh, bashing guns because they're not like a Glock, you know, I don't mean to, but now with this, uh, that is the thing, uh, you know, we're supposed to be helping y'all a little bit, make decisions, right? We have fun shooting, but you know, give you a little insight, help you a little bit, uh, if you're new to, to the area or this type of firearm, but just be aware if you're relatively new to firearms, you can find a 10 millimeter handgun that holds 15, 16 rounds that's not quite this heavy, okay? <laughs> and it's not going to feel quite this big in your hand, okay? And that would be a Glock 20 and maybe some others, but uh, uh, probably the, the new M&P would not be nearly this heavy and maybe some others. But uh, if it weights what you want, you want a, a big, hefty firearm to fire that big cartridge, you know, this, this will do it for you, okay? And, you know, these things, uh, you know you're firing a 10 millimeter, these trophy bonded, and uh, in this, they're very pleasant. And you got a pretty nice trigger. Uh, it advertises four to six pounds, and uh, I'd say that's accurate. It feels good. It's smooth, if you notice that. Smooth action. All right, let's shoot some. Boom. Mr. Cowboy, you need another bullet. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, I wonder if I can hit that ram without uh, <laughs> wasting so much lead. Okay, let me hold a really nice side picture on it so I'll know when I miss what the problem might have been. Okay, I think I was holding too low. I'll bring it up a little bit. I brought it up a little bit, not enough. Okay, got him. All right. So if you're missing, uh, it's kind of important to know where you were holding so you know what you were doing wrong, right? That makes sense? How about a two liter here on the post? Wow. Yeah, it takes them out. I think I'd hit one of those plates with this. Yeah. <laughs> really rocked it. Really rocked it. Have I hit a tree arm limb with one of these yet? I guess not. Boy. <laughs> that sends it around with authority. If you notice the slide of the firearm, those are hot rounds, but I don't feel like it's really jumping around much. I'll shoot the cowboy. It might look like it's uh, you know got a lot of recoil, but it's really not uh, you know significant in the feel of it. So uh, that's that's what you get with a heavy gun. It's a positive and it's a negative. And uh, this gun is so large and so heavy that with me, it's it's probably a negative. It gets into the negative category. You know, it feels feels fine. It looks like it's gonna handle hot ammo just fine. Uh, the only 
uh, little issues we had were with the lighter uh, range ammo. And so it might be a good bear country firing for you. You got the adjustable rear sight, the fiber optic up front, and uh, you know your full rail, which and then your, of course your full length guide rod, uh, adjustable trigger stop. Uh, you can see the brass imprints where I've been shooting it, and uh, it has uh, was it's a Parkerized finish. It says, okay, so it's readjustable there. You got a mag well there for a speed reload. Let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna drop this magazine and pop the other one in. Oh, I don't have another one, so we can't test that, right? <laughs> but it does help, you know, if you're needing to speed reload and Mr. Grizz is coming at you, if you've already fired 15 or 16 rounds, uh, probably not gonna happen, right? You're not gonna get that many shots. So, let me shoot one more mag, then I'll maybe put the suppressor on before I let you go. I kinda like these hot rounds. Let's just load some more of those, right too. Pretty cool. Uh, and a lot of people, uh, you know, these, they they actually get upset, you know, if uh, if you're shooting some 10 millimeter round that's uh, a little bit weaker. Uh, but you know that's the beauty of having lots of different ammo available. If you want to shoot something that's just comfortable range ammo, shoot it. And then something that's warmer, shoot it. I like choices. I don't know about you all. And uh, the thing I would say though, if you are going to carry something like this as uh, for for like bear defense. Whatever you're going to be carrying in it, uh, for that purpose, you do want to shoot some of it. So you make sure you can handle it and, you know, you know where it hits and all those things, okay? You, if you have an extreme difference between your range ammo and, say, your carry ammo, eh, that may not be ideal and uh, uh, not a crime, as long as you're shooting and practicing enough with your, your hot ammo, you know? You know how it feels and where it prints and that sort of thing. All right, let's shoot these, then we'll put that uh, suppressor on, maybe. All right, just to show you, I mean, we can shoot this thing one hand with ain't troll. Well, it feels good, pretty comfy. I bet it'll ring that pin. Yeah, even that real pin. How about you again, Mr. Cowboy? Poor oh, Mr. Cowboy, he takes a beat. <laughs> really, every video, he never, he rarely gets neglected. Those plates get neglected. Oh, missed them. Oh, did I limp wrist it? I don't know. Try not to. Boom. I, I might have. I, I don't know. You know, sometimes you're, there's one hand. You get used to... Uh, I don't know, get lazy, that might have been that. So, now we are empty. You see any bullets in there? We will shoot the, some of the range ammo, it won't be quite as loud. Okay. And then too, in defense of the pistol, uh, it's not even broken in. I've really only shot maybe two magazines through it, I guess, it seemed to work. It, it did that little hang up with the range ammo once on me. Uh, but I'm not gonna shoot it enough to break it in. I just, I saw Bud's had one. I like Rock Island and we've done uh, two or three there, 1911s. They, they seem to do a good job. They have a good reputation among the lower end 1911s. They really do. And I uh, saw Bud's had one in stock and uh, let's shoot that thing. So I've been looking for more 10 millimeters, but I didn't get it to bash it. Okay, there's some things about it I could bash pretty easily. Uh, but you know, just got to have a little fun, show it, and let y'all know uh, it's out there. Make you aware of it, and they make. Gosh, I don't know. I enjoyed the research. I had trouble, you know, landing on the right one. I think uh, there's so many different variations and names of them. The, the HC, this, and the FS, and the, and uh, some of them are single stack, some are double, and, and ultra this, and max and tack that, you know. But. Uh, they do make a lot of variations of, of this gun and in different calibers of course okay now i don't think i've done this yet so let's let's do it together suppress some t I, don't, I guess 10 millimeters not very uh suppressible in terms of uh, knocking it down to, to being quiet unless you have some subsonic 10 millimeter otherwise known as really weak 40 caliber right really really weak <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll try not to limp rest it, get a good handle on it here, make sure she functions. 
That's better than I thought. Let me throw a couple at the gong. <laughs> that sounds neat. I still got, let me take my ears off, see what it sounds like. It sounds very quiet without, with them on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know y'all get mad with sheet of paper or sheet of steel. I'll shoot this pie plate or this lid down here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it works okay. I might do that one more time before I let you go. Uh, it's fun. Suppressors are fun. Uh, they, they just are. And because uh, again, they're they're not going to knock down uh, to to movie quiet unless you're shooting subsonic. Then they might sound more like that. What you'd expect. What you have seen in the James Bond movies. And it depends on the caliber and the gun, the weight of the bullet, and all that. Uh, but you got to get subsonic. And again. I'll let my Kentucky relatives figure out why on that, okay? So 10 millimeter, great cartridge. Those of you who are not familiar with it, I don't have a 45 or anything out here, but uh, you know, it's, it's a little longer than a 40 and it's not quite as big as a 45, imagine that. Uh, but very, very effective cartridge, very popular, and has uh, gained in popularity, really, over the years, I've noticed. And, uh, okay, let's shoot this some more. That's kind of fun. more civilized right <laughs> there anything about this i didn't tell you that you're dying to know i think all i know about it, it's a typical 1911 you know your controls and just uh, some people call these a, a 2011 but uh, i call them a double stack 1911 i guess so pretty cool and i know what i didn't tell you yeah see it's uh i'm thinking that uh, msrp is I don't know, around 800, I think, something like that. Sorry, I may be wrong on that, but it's not. You know, RI is famous for being very reasonably priced. Okay. All right. Uh, let's shoot the paper a couple more times. That's that should be fairly quiet. Why'd I put my ears in? I don't need them. Bowling pin should be kind of quiet. If I could hear it. <laughs> Oh, there's a jug down there. It's just got a little bit of water in it, I think. Maybe, maybe none. Yeah. Oh, let's hit the tree. See if we can hit one of his arms. Oh. Well, <laughs> the sights, are, they're almost high enough to look over the suppressor. I'm going to go back over there and shoot that drum. Yeah, you hear that? See, you wouldn't be able to hear it hit the drum without the suppressor. You know, it, it just, uh, so anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool, fun gun. Uh, again, as I have uh, pontificated on uh, a few times, every gun doesn't have to have uh, the ultimate purpose. Could just be a fun gun, something uh, would be fun at the range, or it could have a serious purpose. You know, you could be carrying this thing in a chest holster in uh, Grizz country. You know, because you want 15 or 16 rounds of hot 10 millimeter, and you have shot it enough with the ammo you like to prove it's 100% reliable, if that exists. So, uh, so you know, it could have many purposes for many people. Uh, but anyway, it's an offering from Rock Island Armory, and I thought it'd be fun to shoot. So, invite you all along. Hope you're glad. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. 
And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.